Okay, here you go guys. I'm going to give you a little rundown of what it's like to work remote. Um, I've been working remotely for about just a little over two years now. And um, it's definitely got some pros and cons. So first I'm going to talk about the obvious pros. Um, if you like where you live, it's awesome to be there all the time. I mean, let's face it. You spend more money on rent than anything else in your portfolio probably. So to be able to take advantage of your of your where you live is amazing, especially if you live someplace you like. I live on a beachfront uh, apartment, so I'm clearly I'm excited about that. Um, and before this, I lived in this cute little house. Another benefit, of course, is, uh, well, you can't really see on the camera here, but I don't shave every day. Um, I wear, I wear t-shirts and jeans and sometimes relaxing pajama pants and flip flops because there is no dress code when you work at home. I mean, there's the, uh, the video chat, but we don't really do that much at my, uh, office. We do a lot of screen sharing, but I mean, there is no real dress code. I got to have pink hair and a mohawk if I wanted to it wouldn't really affect the actual day to day work. Um, another benefit, of course, is uh, commute time. My commute is literally uh, that that walkway right there. <laughs> That's why I have to come from there and then sit here. Um, and of course, once I get off work, yeah, when it's time for lunch, that fridge stock full of food. Cost me absolutely nothing to get to jo my job and back. Nothing to get to lunch. It's a uh, that's a pretty sweet part of the process. And of course, uh, you know, it's nice to be home. You can have your environment as you like it. Having said that, there are some drawbacks, and I don't want to come off like I'm complaining about all the wonderful things I got, but I mean, there are some drawbacks. And if you decide to go work remote, like millions of Americans do, these are gonna be drawbacks that you're gonna be face to face with. One is it's lonely. There is literally nobody here. Uh, my girlfriend heads off to her job in LA. She doesn't get home till about five. So from around 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., it's just me, man. That's it. Uh, so I miss people. That's the thing. You miss people. You lose some of your social skills. You forget how to interact in the real world. Um, and also the lack of exercise. I don't know if you can tell in the video here. But I've, I've put on some weight in the last two years because I'm no longer cycling uh, three to four miles a day to work and then again back from work. Um, you know, again... That happy little fridge is sitting right there. Doesn't take much, just walk over there and stick some food in my mouth. And then when you actually do finally decide to get out of the house, it's like, where can you go? Well, by my house, there's a Starbucks and a McDonald's. And if I go in those, I really feel as though I need to be purchasing something to be able to use that, that area. I refer to that as butt rent. And sometimes I just get myself like a Diet Coke and chill at McDonald's. But if you go to like Starbucks, you know, A, that becomes pricey, and B, it doesn't help with this uh, this weight gain that you might suffer from. <sighs> One of the downsides of my girlfriend being such a good cook is right there. That's the good stuff, folks. It's, it's it'll get you, it'll get you good. So things you can do to mitigate some of these downsides, of course, is, um, Joining a group and a community. I volunteer at a nonprofit in the Long Beach area um, where we are, I, I do a weekly hack night. And that's nice because that lets me interact with other human beings so I don't forget how to interact with other human beings. And it does definitely boost that morale when you are feeling a little lonely. Um, but yeah, get out. Another one, take walks. I take a walk once in the morning during my lunch, and then one more time before the end of the day. Three walks a day. They're not very long walks. I think the morning one and the evening one are just out to the deck or down to the street. Just check the mail. Um, my walk on lunch, just out either on the ocean or down the boulevard. And that definitely that helps. And of course, that's a little more interaction with human beings. 
I know some of you guys are thinking like, oh, I don't like human beings. I can stay in my house all the time. When you are there all the time, eh, I guess there's a few people that would be okay with that. But I'm a social person. I need to be with other humans. So that's been my experience. Overall, I love working remotely because I love being here. I love having my machine set up the way I want to work. I like having my little... Uh, a little beat up laptop with me whenever I go out. And uh, this thing's paid for itself tenfold easily. So if you get a chance to work remote, definitely do it. Ideally, I think I'd like to be able to have an office I can go to once in a while, just once in a while. But uh, for the most part, working remote is, is a lot better than full time in an office. So yeah, so uh, let me know if you have any experience working remote and how that worked out for you and if you would ever do that. Check you later.